Hello again and welcome to another episode of Bullseye Camera Systems TV. Today we're going to be going over part three of our three-part series for the Bullseye Target Manager software. Let's get you up and running. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to go over is up here in the upper left hand corner of your screen, profile. If you select profile, you can see new profile and edit profile. Okay, as you notice over here on the right side of the screen, active profile, new and edit. Uh, these items up here is just simply a shortcut for new profile. If you wanted to generate a new profile, you can put your profile name, uh, password protected if you'd like, your shooter information, along with shooter marker color. Okay. Now let's go to session. Select session. The first one on the list is new session. If you select new session, are you sure you want to wish to start a new session? The answer is yes. Sample shots. Select OK. And all of my thumbnails are now gone. I've just created a new session altogether. Now, if you want to select edit current session information, you can go three shot group. Select OK, and now manage previous sessions. There's the sample shots that I just took. I can reload that session if I'd like, or I can highlight it just like that and delete a session. Are you sure you wish to delete that session? Yes, cannot be undone, and now it's gone. Close. So now I've shown you how to create a new profile, edit a profile, generate a new shooting session, edit your current shooting session, and manage your previous shooting sessions. Now, the next icon we're gonna to go to is toggle full screen target view, okay? Now, if I select this, as you can see over here, all of the information on the right side of the screen disappeared. Now, if you select toggle thumbnail view, as you notice on the lower part of the screen, all of your thumbnails of previous shots are now gone. If you want to bring that information back, simply select view, toggle full screen target view, select view again, toggle thumbnail view. Okay. Now one of the best parts about the uh, version 3.0 software is the fact that you can actually select networks and switch networks all within the software. So if you click on network, select network, as you can see here, Bullseye Cam 104103 and Bullseye Cam 10001, both of those cameras are up and running here in our warehouse. Uh, both of them have a check mark by them, meaning they're both in use right now. I have named them 200 yard target and 700 yard target. Now, let's say for instance you have two different camera systems and one of them is set up at 500 and one of them is set up at 800. You simply highlight, click on it, highlight it, and edit display name. And this is where you can change the name if you wanted to go um, 500 yard target. Okay. This basically allows you to nickname your camera so you always know exactly what location and what target they are at. So it's going to make it very easy for you to choose which camera you want to view at any given time. Okay? Let's go ahead and close out of this. So the camera that we are currently connected to right now, the active camera, is the 500 yard target. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the drop down and click on the 700 yard target. That's the other target that we have here in the warehouse. Searching for network and camera. And there's our second camera. Okay. This is a great opportunity for guys to use multiple cameras all at the same range, all at the same time. And you simply go to active camera and select which one that you want to view at any given time. And the last icon that we're going to click is the help button. Select about 
and this gives you the current version of software that you are uh, operating, Bullseye Target Manager Software version 3.0. Also, it gives you our company information and our website for a quick reference. And once you're done with that, select Close. And that concludes our software tutorial. For more information on the Bullseye Camera system, go to bullseyecamera.com. We'll see you next time. Yeah, go ahead.